She is a celebrity in her own right. There's actually a Vicky behind those Miss Vicky's chips we all love. And this is her Vicky Care. Good morning and welcome. Thank you for having me. So we know you had this incredible thing happen to you as a mom working at a farm in Ontario. Mm -hmm. Mom of four, you wanted a healthy <laughs> alternative for your kids. So you decided to make this potato chip that you would hand cut. Yep, that's great. We left the skins on. And uh, when we sliced them, we didn't wash the slices, and that's why they have a potato taste. I used the potatoes my husband Bill was growing and um, made a few batches and took them and sold them to the local store and uh, kept on cooking chips for years. What a huge <laughs> success story. And he always encouraged you. He's passed away. Yes, and you talk did. about him so beautifully in your book. He always encouraged you to write. And you did it so beautifully here. It's called Miss Vicky's Kitchen. It is your very first cookbook because you love to cook really healthy, easy recipes that anybody can do, even if you don't know your way around a cutting board and a knife. That's right. And they're simple. Um, and I made it, uh, I created the recipes with my daughter and um, people in mind who might be afraid to go in the kitchen or to try and so that they're not intimidated. The recipes are very easy and it's mostly things that you'll find in your own home. And I gotta tell you, she really is hands on because I know you've been touring and <laughs> you flew in last night and the first thing she did was go to the grocery store, stock up on some of the ingredients and you made all of your recipes yourself. So I was talk cooking us through, last night. You're awesome. <laughs> talk us through some of the things that uh, you prepared today. Okay, well this is a, um, one that's on MissVicky'sKitchen.com. I, I have a video of me making this. This is shepherd's pie. And it's just three layers, easy to make. It's ground beef, onions, cream corn, and um, mashed potatoes or whipped mm -hmm. potatoes on top. And then you bake it in the oven and you broil it so that it gets that little crusty looking thing on top. Mm. And then um, this is macaroni and beef casserole. Just like it says, it's very easy. Some tomatoes, some meat, and some um, macaroni, elbow macaroni. And you have gorgeous dessert recipes as well in the book. I mean, it's everything, soup to nuts, right? I love to bake. And tell us a little bit about why you feel there's such a special place in the kitchen, not just, you know, with what you have done, you've created an empire with Miss Vicky's, but really with your family. And you talk about your mother-in-law's support. Can we please say good morning to her? 97 years old. <laughs> good morning, Mary. Good morning, Mary. <laughs> and she really inspired you. She took you under her wing. She did. She did. And she still answers questions that I have. Um, and so I want to sort of take that place, be, her, be a mentor for people who might have questions about recipes so on Facebook I have people who have purchased the cookbook and then they're making recipes and they're showing me how they you know how it turned out and that is so rewarding for me to be able to share what I know because I mean you were born and raised in Montreal you were the urban city girl and all of a sudden you're living the farm life and you had to learn how to cook I and did. you really love sharing these recipes because I love your philosophy you say a lot of us just get used to buying stuff other people made for us. We don't know what went in it. We don't know what yep. ingredients they've used. Or This is the way to control and bond with your family. Do you and do that with your kids? Yes, that's right. And also that when you make food with your own hands, I really think that the love that you, um, that's created, that you're sharing with people you love, your family, your friends, I think it makes the food taste better. Yeah, it's the love in the food and you control what's going in it. Now in the book too, I love that you've kept all of these letters of people who wrote in. You always ask people to engage with you, you yes. love feedback, and you kept these letters for like over 25 years yeah, and did. it's part of the book, right? Yeah, I did. I, I mean, those letters, even when I read them now, they still create, a, a, make me feel emotional that people took the time and were so, you know, loyal to be able to write and and uh, share their first time that they tasted Miss Vicky's. Well, we know we eat with our eyes first, and you have <laughs> given really easy instructions, I'm telling you, as well as gorgeous recipes that, like I said, anybody could do, and they could become part of your family traditions mm -hmm. and favorites. And you will be touring this book. We'll let you That's know right. how you can meet her. But your husband, you did write about the fact that Bill had given you a gold pen, had gifted you a gold pen he wanted you to write. He so, did. So will there be a memoir to follow this cookbook? Well, he gave me the pen to write, and I, his intention was that I would be able to share the challenges of starting the business and, create, and making it grow. Um, and as we shared as a couple and a family, the things that we went through with, with creating that business that became a million-dollar company. Um, but the, the recipe book was the first thing that I wanted to do for my children because they were asking me for... Recipes. recipes and so I thought I'm gonna save these now 
Well, thank you for sharing your love of food with thank us you. in the forms of the chips and all of your lovely recipes. And go see Miss Vicki Care tomorrow. There's a book signing uh, in Burlington between 1 and 4 p.m. at Indigo. And then on Sunday, she's at Yorkdale. So that's also from 1 to 4 p.m. And find all this information at MissVickiesKitchen.com or on our website. And tweet her up at Real Miss Vicky. She is real. She's beautiful. And she's here. And thank you so much for all that you do. Thank You're an inspiration. You. Thank, thank you. you. Over to Kevin, the newsroom. <laughs> now, I don't know if Miss Vicky remembers me because oh, it, it was year. Another one. Yeah. Pardon? She gets this all the time. She well, gets people saying this all the time. I, was a, I was a cub reporter at CKBR. Uh, when Miss Vicky's first came out, and of course you're from New Lowell, out near near Angus, and so I was I was there in the beginning. I just wanted to know. Well, it's nice to see you again. <laughs> see, she doesn't remember. That's our. But congratulations on all your success. And to you, Thank Kev. You.